Yeah. Hi there, I'm Lou, one of the dog groomers that works at Dog House in Grafton Avon. This is Sparky, shop dog, and behind the camera is Ruth. Hello! So today we're doing a small video on how to clip your dog's nails. So, Sparky has um, agreed to be our demo for today. <laughs> now, what we're looking for when we trim our dog's nails is that when they're, when they're standing normally, there's a very slight gap between the toenail and the ground. It doesn't have to be a huge gap, um, but we're just looking for... I'm a... going to bring the camera right in yeah. so we can see that. So there we go. I don't know if you can see at table height there. Yes, you can see Sparky's little claws, particularly on the front here, slightly at an angle because they're touching the tabletop. And actually, if I move over to the other foot, I think... Those ones aren't, are they? Yes, yeah, so you can see that one. He's a good boy. Good boy. Hey. So, the reason that we're looking for that is if they are too long, it can change the way um, the dog walks, its gait can be affected, and ultimately it can um, change the shape of their foot. So, a healthy toenail means a healthy foot, and obviously that then won't have an effect on any of their joints um, yeah. on the rest of their body. So, well, Spark... Sorry, sorry really. I'm interrupting because yeah. I think the, probably the question I get asked the most is how do we cut the nails without cutting the quick? Yes. Because people are always terrified of cutting yeah. the quick. So, can I just ask on behalf of everybody, yeah. um, is it painful for the dog if you cut their quick? It, it stings a little bit. You know, if we chew our nails or we cut our nails slightly too short, you get that little initial sting. Yeah. It's that kind of feeling. Okay. Um, Obviously with a dog, it can't tell us that, ouch, that hurt. So the reaction is to possibly yelp. And you know, that's quite, um, for, for us doing that to the dog, it makes us feel quite bad. Yes, um, I think it's also something that puts people off if they've does, done it. Yeah, it does put people off. And it, it obviously can make the dog slightly nervous of having its nails cut, but it's not dangerous. It's not um, life-threatening. It is, it possibly the quick will bleed a little bit. But um, so long as you have some corn flour to hand that you can just tap on the end of the nail and that will stem the, the flow of blood. Oh, so it's not, it's not awful. Okay, you know, and is it and painful for every dog? I mean... No, some, some dogs, um, I know that if you do accidentally um, catch their quip, they don't react at all. Okay. You, they just have no reaction to it. Um, um, and that's sometimes when you know you don't actually know that it's happened yes but most dogs when you go to clip their nails if you are close to the quick they will try and sort of pull away slightly or they'll because oh, they, that's can, they can feel it because the quick is obviously a nerve yes. so they can feel it as, as soon as you sort of squeeze the nail clippers which is the action that you want to, to go for rather than a quick clip yeah. if they react you probably are on the quick. That's, that's exactly that's what my dog boy told me when I clipped a Sparky 13 yeah. years ago, was squeeze yes, gently, squeeze the nail and if they pull away, you're too close yeah, to the quick. Absolutely, absolutely. Some dogs have um, white nails, and you can see the pink quick inside, so you ah. can, it, it's a good visual to see where the end of the quick is. Um, so you can use that to um, sort of work out how much of the nail you should take off. Okay. With Sparky, he has mainly black nails, or dark nails. Yes. He's got a little brown one there. So it's really, really tricky to see where the quicks are yes. in a black nail. Now, generally what I do if um, a dog has black nails is take a tiny, tiny little bit of the nail off each time. Right. And you can do two maybe three tiny tiny little bits probably taking a millimeter off each time but if they react on the next time you do it that would be the time to stop right okay um, and it, it sometimes only really means that you can take the tips off the nail so if a dog's got over long claws you can't trim them so that they're clear of the table just no. like that no absolutely no you okay. because what would happen is you would cut through the quick 
and you would um, the nails would all bleed. Okay, so. and I guess also with the quick, if you just catch the very end of it, it will bleed less than if you cut it further along. Yeah, if you catch the very end of it, it might just look slightly red. Okay, but it won't bleed necessarily. Okay. But if you were to cut more of it, then it would obviously bleed. Okay, a lot more. I know we we're, we're focusing a lot on the quick. Probably because that's the question I get asked the most, and it's the thing people are really worried about. Um, but actually, the cutting of the nails is fairly simple, I think, it isn't is. it? It is, yeah. So if you have um, nail clippers at home, but you've been too frightened to use them, um, hopefully this video will help you gain the confidence. But these are the ones we use in the salon. They're, um, they're on a spring. They're, a slight, they're kind of like a guillotine action. Um, they have a little guard here, which you can use to um, sort of decide how much to take off, but I don't use those. I find it much easier not to use the guard that's on the nail clippers. So you wouldn't necessarily need nail clippers with guard okay. if you're looking to buy some. Um, so what we do, you can either, you can do it one of two ways. You can either do it like Sparky sat here now um, and lift his paw put my glasses on for this spot so I can see what I'm doing. You can lift his paw. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. It's okay, baby. And just expose the nail. And then because his aren't terribly long, we're going to just tip them. And we're kind of going at a 45 degree angle to his okay. paw pad. And did you see that? I just took a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. Oh, that, that, is, that is a teeny bit of nail. Off his nail. Good boy. And then he didn't react, so we're going to take a tiny weeny little bit more. Good boy. Good there we boy. are. And when we look at that now, you can see where I've trimmed it. Oh, it's that's completely amazing. off the ground now as he stands. Okay. That's so the other way, if you, if you bend his foot, you obviously have to be careful how you're bending it and keep his leg at a comfortable oh, so angle. I can't just right yank it out of 45 No, you mustn't, you mustn't, no, because he would absolutely hate that. Okay. You can look at the base of the nail and you can see all this white from the one that we've just trimmed. Yes. That's like the pulp inside the nail. Okay. Now, if you'd go further down and keep on trimming, you will eventually see a little black dot within the middle of the white. And okay. that's the start of the quick. Ah. So if you were to trim it again, and you see the black. Sparky's doesn't need trimming again because as you saw from the ground, it was short enough. Yeah. But if you were to trim it again and you, you saw the black dot, that's when you must stop. Yes. All right, my yeah. darling. So we're just gonna do this one. I'm gonna come in as close as I can without disrupting it. We'll move the hair. Oh, marvelous. And we're just taking a tiny weenie. That was a very tiny bit. Sorry, Sparky. That was really tiny. That's good, I like <gasps> that little and Just often. here, there. Good boy. You see, it's almost like it's like shoeing a horse. Yes. Good boy. There you We're go. just taking slithers. Good boy. And I think this would be the best way for you to do it at home to maintain your... Can you see that little black oh, yes. dot now? Yes. So that is when to stop. We will try and take some photos of this and have this alongside. Okay. And also be mindful, obviously Sparky is 13 years old, so that was quite a long time for Good him to boy. stand on, on three legs and um, give Good your dog boy. a break in between, because yeah. obviously if you are nervous cutting nails, then it can take longer, Good and boy. just be mindful that you're not, your dog isn't becoming completely uncomfortable. And if they hate it, just do one at a time. And you Good. can do it with them sat on your lap. If your dog likes cuddles, you can have them sat on your lap. And you can just sort of hold their foot up like this while you're um, cuddling them. Uh. Or one of your um, family members, I would say, if they can cuddle them and um, support them. Okay, and if your way. dog really hates it, what can we do to desensitise them if and help them get used to the sensation? If your dog really, really hates it, um, but they love food, probably the best thing is to try and desensitise them by giving them their favourite treat and perhaps just start holding their paw to begin with okay. and exposing the nail and holding their nail, good boy. Well, and then it. giving them a treat if they're being really good. And we do have some treats here, Sparky. Good There's a good boy, you are doing good so boy. well. 
boy. Yeah, that's quite a crunchy treat. Good boy. <laughs> but yes. And yeah, and just reward them for letting you hold their paw and hold their nail. And then you can just slowly introduce the nail clippers. Okay. Um, and what you're trying to do is associate nail clipping with being a nice thing, yes. a good thing, and a positive thing. Just to um, take away the fear of having your nails clipped. And what about, I think I might have seen you teaching people with puppies to be able to put your thumbnail on the actual nail so they get used to the sensation yeah, of having the nail. Yeah, it's all, I mean, it always, the best time to um, expose any dog to anything <laughs> new is obviously when they're a puppy. Um, so if you do have a puppy, that would be the time to get them used to having their paws held, having their nails cut. And yeah, you can, you can, because mainly what it is, um, with the dogs it's the sensation of having them cut right. and sometimes it's the noise of the clippers when you actually clip the nail okay so if you try and um, find a way that sounds like having your nails cut yeah um, around your dog and treat them if you know, they're good and they don't pull away or they don't react um, and then they'll they'll associate it as being a good thing okay that's great Thank you very much, and thank you, Sparky. He's a good boy.